A horse! A horse! My kingdom for a horse! Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So anyway, this past Saturday when I was doing my usual weekly uh, live stream, my friend Vic Viscara, who was in A Few Good Men with me a couple years back, uh, that's him you see in the background preparing to restrain me. Um, he joined the live stream. I wasn't expecting to see him. And he just kind of said, uh, hey, I want to see you perform some Shakespeare. And uh, so I said, are you, okay, what do you request? And he requested Richard III. I just did it completely impromptu. And uh, so it's not going to be my best performance. But uh, I just thought that that was interesting what came of that. And uh, possibly, I'll, I'll say more about this in the description, possibly I, ideas for future live streams. Uh, that uh, taking requests like that. But anyway, hope you guys enjoy this one. Okay. Now is the winter of our discontent. <laughs> do I need to, do I need to look at the, no, that one, I pretty much my heart. Now is the winter of our discontent, made glorious summer by this son of York, and all the clouds that lowered upon our house in the deep bosom of the ocean buried. Now are our brows bound with victorious wreaths, our bruised arms hung up for monuments, our sterner larums changed to merry meetings, our dreadful marches to delightful measures, Grim-visaged war hath smoothed his wrinkled front, and now, instead of mounting barbed steeds to fright the souls of fearful adversaries, he capers nimbly in a lady's chamber to the lascivious pleasing of a lute. But I, that have not shaped for sportive tricks nor made to court an amorous looking glass, I that am rudely stamped and want love's majesty to strut before a wanton ambling nymph. I that am curtailed of this fair proportion, cheated of feature by dissembling nature, deformed, unfinished, sent before my time and sent into this breathing world, scarce half made up and so lamely and unfashionable that dogs bark at me as I halt by them. My eye, in this weak, piping time of peace, with no delight to pass away the time, unless to see my shadow in the sun, and to scant on mine own deformity. And therefore, since I cannot prove a lover to entertain these fair, well-spoken days, I am determined to prove a villain, and hate the idle pleasures of these days. Plots have I laid, Inductions dangerous to set my brother Clarence and the king in deadly hate the one against the other. And if King Edward be as true and just as I am subtle, false, and treacherous, this day should Clarence be closely mewed up about a prophecy that says, G of Edward's heirs, the murderer shall be. Thy thoughts down to my soul. Here Clarence comes. <laughs> 